Way. Yeah, Richard Hoyles is uh, the eye in the sky. He's going to uh, count them down, clock them through the nine furlongs. The gallop is a genuine one. There's no messing around or tactics involved. So the idea is to give Frankel a true workout here. And already bullet train, as he has done in the races, is pressing on specific gravity in the Niarcos colours in second. And Frankel is just breezing along in third place with that ability to sustain such a terrific change of pace, which has immortalised him really in the, the modern era. His bullet train, his constant companion. Out in front, setting a reasonable gallop here, Danny Dunnicky with specific gravity, the horse that's towing up Frankel, Shane Featherston half, the usual work rider of Frankel aboard, specific gravity, and still swinging along at the back of the field is Frankel. So four and a half furlongs, a look over the shoulder, probably acting as the signal for specific gravity to just try and push closer to Bullet Train. And Frankel continuing to breeze along. Bullet Train, a higher rated horse than Specific Gravity, so Specific Gravity is almost certainly going to drop out in a moment or two, and indeed that happens, just like pacemakers in the athletics. And here Bullet Train, his rider looks across to see that familiar sight for Bullet Train of Frankel just drawing alongside. Now it'll be a question of how big a workout Tom Queeley is going to give Frankel. And again, just down into the dip, changes his hands, and Frankel accelerates away. Uh, Bullet Train is now seeing the disappearing backside of Frankel like so many other horses have during the course of his 13 race career. So really nice to see the horse strutting his stuff here at Newmarket where he's had so many great moments for the last time in public. Salute Frankel who will be in the winner's enclosure and hopefully on his way to success on British Champions Day. The gallop here beating Bullet Train and Specific Gravity.